other result you wanted on the weekend, obviously, but were you impressed with the resilience from the girls? It seemed like you'd really improved from last season. Yeah, absolutely. We would have loved to have gone away with the four points. Um, and credit to Adelaide, they're an amazing team and have been for a number of years in the competition. Um, I do know that we have confidence in the way that we did perform and we were neck and neck for a few quarters um, and we just need to be able to play the four quarters and that will come through growth and experience over the next few games. What did work for you guys? Because obviously you were right in it in that first half. What was working for what you've done in pre-season? I think just playing our roles. Um, you speak about the pre-season as well. We've, we've worked really hard in our um, conditioning and our fitness and I think that was um, notable. It was a really warm game and we were still able to play out in those conditions. Um, but just sticking to our structure and our game plan and not going away from that and I think if we can do that we'll challenge a lot of teams in the competition. Some of those new recruits definitely shot on the weekend. How great was it to see, to see uh, Matilda, Ash Saint, all of them had a good shot for the ball? Yeah, incredible um, individual performances from all of them. Um, Tilds is amazing, she's so young. I sometimes get a little bit carried away watching her training, just how she goes up for marks and um, just how she's taken on that um, role in the ruck and it can be a big responsibility at such a young age, but she takes it with ease and um, I'm excited to see the rest of her season this, season, uh, this year. And um, obviously Ash Saint as well, um, having her and JC and Jazz, um, really excited to see um, you know, the season that we can have with all of our team this year. You and Ash look so good as a combination in the forward line. How did you find, yeah, combining with her for the first time? Yeah, love Ash. Um, we've had some really good training sessions together and to be able to see that come out to play in um, games was really exciting. And just knowing that, um, yeah, I've got her support and she has mine, um, hopefully in, in games to come, is um, really exciting. Yeah, it was always going to be difficult when the, when the group first comes together last year. What ground, what gains do you think you've made now that you've had another pre-season, you're getting into the second season, you've obviously improved. What sort of areas do you feel like the group's made strides in? Yeah, I think um, the first step would be when we're away from the club and doing our, our pre-season program. Fitness is a massive factor with 15 minute quarters and knowing the impact that can have in a game. But um, also to, I think, you know, the... Um, ability to trust each other on the field as well. We've got players that um, you know are incredible individually, but when we work together as a team, we see how powerful we can actually be um, as a team performance. So I think just trusting each other and um, continuing to you know show our vulnerability and and just be ourselves in such a short time really does help. It's a pretty tough start of the season, isn't it? Adelaide into Brisbane. Yeah, I think it, it is um, quite challenging, but I think it's probably the best way to start. Um, you know, we were able to challenge ourselves, as I said, against a really top side in the Crows and we've got Bris Brisbane here at home and we're really looking forward to another challenge and um, we're hoping that it really sets us up for the end of um, the season and the games to come. You know, Cuthbertson took a bit of a knock, you know, how she's feeling so far this week? Yeah, I think she's a little bit sore, but um, JC, I know her very well from Fremantle and she's a, a hard player, so she'll get back up and get ready to go again and um, we'll, we'll wrap our arms around her and make sure she's okay. With those added recruits, a bit more experience, what do you think this side can achieve this season? Obviously, first year, it's a really young group. Do you think this is a group that now can sort of push on and look to maybe late in the season have a crack at maybe making the out? Yeah, I think that's um, any team's sort of vision coming into the season is you want to do well and play finals. Um, we will take it each game as it comes and I think we know, even though we still have a very young side, um, hoping that they were able to see we took it to a, a top team on the weekend and that we can do that for the rest of the season. Um, so again, this week will be a nice challenge at home in front of our home crowd, which we're really looking forward to. And we're hoping that we'll come out again the same way we did against Crows. Where are the gaps I guess you guys still need to improve on? Obviously that second half kind of got away from you a little bit there. Was it fatigue or was it maybe more just the pressure that the Crows brought in that second half? Yeah, I think it's not shying away from the fact that Crows are a really good side, but um, in those times sticking to our structures and not shying away from what we know we're capable of. Um, I think that will just come in time and I do believe that this uh, weekend we'll be able to go another step further and it will just keep improving each game that we play this season. So really looking forward to what we can unlock um, this season.